Hey there, this is Jennifer Simonetti Bryan, Master of Wine here at the Weekly Tasting, and this week we are off to France and southern France and the Rhone Valley in the region of Chateauneuf de Pop. Chateauneuf de Pop is a very high quality region. The Appalachian is known for its really high quality wines, and we have two very different expressions here. We have one that is very traditional and, and, uh, in how it's made, although it's 100% Grenache, and then the next wine is more of a modern feel. So it's 50% Grenache and 50% Syrah, and it's made in a more modern way. We're going to go through that. But the region of Chateauneuf de Pop, there's a reason why it's been known for quality. Now, it, on every bottle, which I find fascinating, on every bottle you will see an embossed logo. If you've ever read the book or um, ever seen the Da Vinci Code or Dan Brown's Angels and Demons in particular, you will know from Professor Langdon that symbols are really, really important. And on each bottle of Chateauneuf de Pop, regardless of the producer, you will see this embossed logo of the papacy. And why is that? So you, you see the name Chateauneuf de Pop. Well, Chateauneuf de Pop translates to the new castle of the Pope. And in the 14th century, um, the Pope moved his dwelling over to Avignon, which is along the Rhone River in the Rhone Valley, which is near Chateauneuf de Pop. So the Chateauneuf de Pop region is around that area, and so you have the new castle of the Pope, which is the reason why you see on each bottle this embossed logo of the Pope. So if you're Catholic out there, you know, it's interesting, or if you're a conspiracy theorist, it's interesting too, but I, I just love the symbolism of that and, and you see it on every bottle. So let's go through the wines and I'll tell you the difference between each of them. The first wine we have in the pack is made from 100% Grenache. Now Grenache is the name of the grape variety and Grenache is a beach bunny of a grape. Uh, there's a lot of warmth in Chateauneuf de Pop in this region of the Rhone Valley, and even the stones that are on the ground right underneath the vines, they're called galets or galettes, or whatever, however you want to pronounce it, but they're these large stones that actually absorb the sunlight and the heat during the day and reflect it onto the vines during the nighttime. So Grenache is not afraid of warmth and it's not afraid of sunshine. And what that does, Grenache gets this real perfumed aroma. It's very much in the red fruit side of the aromatics for fruit. So strawberry, light red cherry. So you'll notice that even sometimes in the warm vintage like 2015, it's almost like strawberry jam. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, but you also get some licorice and some brown spice in there. This is traditionally made, so it's a large, uh, demi mouet barrels and it's old oak so you're not going to get a lot of contrast of chocolate or in your face kind of oak character this is a traditionally made um, wine so that's where in terms of oak anyway and so you get a lot of perfume a lot of aromatics a lot of red fruit coming for some spice from the grape variety coming through and it's very perfumed and very silky on the palate Grenache as a grape variety in and of itself is not that powerful in terms of tannins so it's not that bitter it's not as bitter as say Cabernet Sauvignon um, but it's not as light as Pinot Noir, so it's somewhere down the middle. So if you like the tannin level of, let's say, a, a Merlot, or maybe even lighter than Merlot, you're gonna like this wine. Now, this wine is also a bit high in octane, so it's, it, it, because it's a beach bunny of a grape, it's got a lot of alcohol to it, so it's 14 and a half plus, um, which is higher than you see of most grapes, but it's balanced. It's integrated extremely well, so you won't be able to tell where one begins and one ends, but because it's so delicious, ooh, that can be dangerous. So in terms of food and wine pairing, one of the classic pairings for Chateauneuf de Pop is lamb, and lamb with rosemary. And if you actually have a dish with rosemary in it, it's going to bring out some of that herbal, what they call Garrigue character. Garrigue character 
in the Rhone Valley is known because you have um, all of these different shrubberies around, including rosemary, but you have these different um, shrubs around that have the oils, you know, land on the grapes, and you have, it just smells of the region. So it's got this herbaceousness and earthiness and woodsiness that you're going to taste in the wine itself. So it's an exciting wine to try, and I hope you enjoy it. The second wine we have is a blend. It is a Chateau Neuf de Pot, but it is a 50% Grenache, 50% Syrah blend. Now, why is that? The reason is, I think primarily for insurance policy, because the climate and it, there are certain things about the climate that can be um, not so predictable. A lot of winemakers way back when, when they were planting all these vines, decided that they wanted to plant things that ripened at different times. So Grenache ripens differently than Mocvedre and which ripens differently at a different time than Syrah. So if there was a storm that happened or if something, um, if there was a drought or there was yields that were low, they could depend on another grape variety in order to make up for the volume. So it's kind of an insurance policy. But in this case, we have 50% Grenache and 50% Syrah. So we're not getting that huge different blend of grape varieties, but you'll be able to see both of these in this wine. Grenache, we know is from the first one, adds a lot of perfume and it's light in color, but not light in flavor. It's got a lot of powerhouse red, light red fruit on the palate and it's soft in its tannins and some licorice character. Now the, the Syrah, the other, 50%, the other half of it. Syrah is also a, a very bold wine, but it's richer, it's darker. And if you actually compare and contrast these two wines together in terms of color on a white piece of paper, you tilt it like this, you are gonna see an enormous color difference between these two wines. And the color difference is really mainly due to the 50% Syrah. Syrah is much darker and richer in pigment um, and in tannin than Grenache. So you're gonna get a bit more grip there. And it's also made in a more modern way. You're gonna see some you know, French oak on this and, and a little bit um, more character. So you've got some vanilla and chocolate and can be a little bit um, concentrated. But 2016, which this vintage is, is more of a classic vintage for the Rhone Valley than you see 2015, which was a warmer vintage. And you're gonna see that difference here in terms of the acidity. Grenache is low acid, but with the Syrah added to it, it's going to lighten it up a little bit. So you're gonna get a um, some a big full body and a lot of rich flavor, but you're also going to get that lift of acidity. And this makes it go well with a lot of different dishes, but you also get that garrigue in there as well, that herbaceousness. Now with Grenache, we see licorice and black spice there. With Syrah, we also see some black spice, but there it's more of black pepper. So these are two really rich and spicy reds that you are going to love. If you're a full-bodied red wine lover, you are going to love these wines. So that's it for this week. I hope you really enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time, cheers.